Welcome to the solution video for Power BI Workout Wednesday 2022 week seven. Uh, this week we visualized using parallel sets. This helps us perform multi-dimensional analysis and we use the data from the Data Visualization Society's State of the Industry survey results. So I'm going to get data and use Google Sheets. And I just need that first sheet. And there's some extra rows at the top, so we'll get rid of those. And then make that first row into our headers. I only need a couple columns, so I'm going to choose the role, the time worked, the time producing viz, and the alt ID. And I'm going to remove other columns. And then I only want responses where all three of these answers have been completed. And then I've got a couple values that I'd like to replace. And the other one is that we have both academic slash teacher as well as just teacher that came. This is really a composite response from multiple questions. We have to make sure we're matching the entire cell content so we don't mess with the existing academic slash teacher values. And then we can group the data because the alt ID represents a response. So I'm going to add my three columns there. And then do count rows, count distinct rows. It's going to do the same thing, but this is fine. I should clarify, count distinct rows will produce in this case the same result as doing count rows because each row is distinct because of that alt ID. All right, so that gives us, I'm going to call this source and I'm going to use it to build what I need my data to look like. Right now we've got these four columns. Um, I need to make it source to target and then source to target again and include my count in each step. So if I reference this, I can start formatting my data to be source target count. So I need my first two columns. And I'm going to this time sum the count. And then I need to rename and I'm just going to call this table roll time. And I'm going to do basically the same thing again for the other two columns. So time worked and time producing viz group by sum my counts. And let's call this role or time rather time viz. And again, we're going to call our columns source and target. So I'm not actually, these are kind of staging queries. I'm not actually going to use any of those. What I'm going to do, append them and make a new table. And I'll just call this plot 
And there we have our time worked to time spent producing viz. And further down, we see roles to time worked. I made my parallel sets using the Sankey chart. I can go ahead and add that to my page. And do source, target, and count as the weight. So by default, it's going to use several different colors. Uh, those colors are largely meaningless here. So what I did was use gradients in each category or set. So you just come into nodes and you can change the colors. So I like to use a website called Color Hexa and it will give me the shades and tints that I can use. So because this was static data, I went ahead and colored essentially by weight. So the largest uh, node here got the darkest color and the smallest here. So far in the first two, they're in order. And then in the last one, to optimize how much crossover we have, the colors are slightly out of order um, from top to bottom, but they're still assigned according to size of the node. From there, we just add some finishing touches, like a title. And because we need to present our data, with context, I added another text box that links back to the original data. And because many people might not be familiar with parallel sets and the fact that you can um, select a node or a stream between nodes, provided some information that you can hover, that you can select them to help them get started with this. And then in my final version, I just turned on a little bit of shadow to emphasize my chart. We have one last thing to do. I would have preferred that this visual have labels on each category, and it does not. So I made just text box labels. There's nothing super special about them. They're just a way to get that label onto the page. So just a text box, and then I kind of arranged it to where I would like to have it. And then just select all three of these, make sure they are aligned. I'm going to send them all backwards to the back. And then I group them with my parallel sets plot.
just call it this visuals and labels. And this works because my background is off so you can see the labels behind the chart. So hopefully you enjoy making your parallel sets plot and had some fun with Power Query in the process. Thanks for watching. Week seven, this is Megan Longoria signing off.